Well, socialist Senator Bernie Sanders wants America to be a socialist country, and even liberals are blasting his agenda. My next guest says socialism is a violation of basic human rights. Thor Halverson of the Human Rights Foundation joins me now with details. Thor, why do you believe socialism is a violation of basic human rights? Well, let's actually qualify that. Um, countries that do not violate human rights can have socialist governments, and that's perfectly okay. If there are branches of government that exist and separation of powers and constitutional rights, you can have a country like Denmark or Norway or Sweden that oftentimes have socialist governments, labor governments. That's perfectly fine. The problem is when socialism is done under an authoritarian government or someone using socialism as a mask, uh, takes control of a government, claims that they're going to help the people, and ultimately end up looting the country and All ruining right. it. All right. Let's drive it back, though, to the definition of socialism, because it's my belief that the people who are all for Bernie Sanders have no idea what socialism is as, as, a, as a government, as, as, a, as a recipe for how government works. Explain it. Well, that depends. I mean, people can take a historic definition of socialism, an academic definition of socialism, or they can take a definition because arguably uh, many countries, many democratic countries have socialist policies. Now, there's a difference between having a socialist policy, having a socialist government, being a socialist. Some people academically believe that socialism, communism, Marxism are the same thing. And if, we, if that's right. one way of looking at it to, to get away from getting too bogged down okay. by the details here, uh, what is your major objection to the way socialism is practiced in some countries? Is it the looting of personal property? Well, of course. Of what course. You take, take a country like Venezuela. The government decides that prices are going to be a certain way because they want prices to be. And then because they set prices, what ends up happening is massive shortages. And what you have now coming up is a humanitarian crisis. But I will say this. Um, I actually made the largest contribution allowable to the campaign of Bernie Sanders. I made a contribution to Bernie Sanders' really? campaign. Yes. I believe the Democrat because the Democratic frontrunner right now um, is unfortunately someone who has taken millions and millions of dollars from many dictatorships, Algeria, Bahrain, Qatar, Oman, Saudi Arabia, countries that execute people for being gay, countries that restrict all press freedoms, countries that in some cases ban Christmas. I would much rather have Bernie Sanders be the Democratic wow. frontrunner than a person who takes money from dictatorships, unquestionably. And at the same time, on the Republican side, you have the frontrunner who believes that right, Putin right. is fine. And that is awful as well. The you say that's a problem as well. In both I just have to get you to problem. one more thing before you go, because sure. you have personal experience with this in Absolutely. Venezuela. Your father uh, w was a political prisoner. Tell me about that. My father was a political prisoner. My mother was shot by the regime of Hugo Chavez. And my cousin, my first cousin, is currently in prison in Venezuela. Um, so you know what you're talking about. This comes from experience. Yes. This isn't something that you read in a history book. Yes, but you see, Venezuela had for years, for decades, labor governments, governments that nodded to democratic socialism. Democratic socialism can exist if there's rule of law. The problem becomes when that's wiped away and the executive decides to take control of everything. Personally, my view is that redistribution of wealth is not the way to end poverty. You end poverty not by redistributing wealth. You end it by creating more wealth wealth. As such, I'm a believer in free markets. But All at right. the same time, dictatorships are a much bigger problem. I'd okay. rather have a democratic socialist than a supporter of dictators in the White House. You did a great job of explaining exactly what the problem is with socialism. Thor, thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. And don't forget to watch Fox